Kate Middleton's solo trip to Denmark would not have happened if the Queen's health was causing major concern, a royal expert has said. Royal correspondent Robert Jobson appeared on Australian breakfast show, Sunrise, to discuss concerns about the Queen's health and to ease fears after the Queen cancelled her upcoming virtual engagements. The palace reassured the public that the 95-year-old Queen would continue her engagements virtually, after testing positive for coronavirus on Sunday after contact with the Prince of Wales. The palace said, Her Majesty is still dealing with mild cold-like symptoms but will continue with light duties. It is now understood that her virtual engagements have been cancelled and any further arrangements over the coming week will be decided upon nearer the time. When asked about whether the palace was hiding something more sinister about the monarch's health, the royal correspondent eased fears by saying, I think it's okay I've spoken to a few people saying she's fine, she's being very well cared for, there is no cause for alarm, and I don't believe there is a cause for alarm. Of course we read so much into every single thing that is said, and that's probably why they don't want to do a running commentary. There's a couple of things going on behind the scenes, that have suggested to me that she's fine otherwise these things wouldn't be going on. So, I'm pretty certain that she's okay and if there had been a rapid development the family would be doing things differently. One of these things is Kate's solo trip to Denmark, which she embarked upon on Tuesday to represent the Queen. In Copenhagen, the Duchess will learn more about issues close to her heart about early years development of children while also spending time with Queen Margrethe II of Denmark and Crown Princess Mary. Mr. Jobson noted that the trip signifies that the Queen's health is not a major concern as they probably wouldn't have sent her on this particular occasion had the Queen been in a serious condition. Speaking from Copenhagen, he added that Kate is here for a couple of days doing a solo tour, no Prince William, and I do think that she wouldn't have necessarily gone on the trip if things were very, very, serious with the Queen. Photographs of Kate during her trip to the Lego Foundation in Copenhagen show the Duchess in good spirits as she displayed her fun side when she launched herself down the slide, coming out at a speed with her arms in the air before joking with the photographers. It is thought that the Queen is still planning to attend an in-person diplomatic reception at Windsor Castle next week where she is currently isolating. Mr. Jobson commented on the Queen's workload saying, I think that you've got to bear in mind that the Queen is 96 very shortly in April, that she's got these cold-like symptoms and I always thought it was a bit daft, if you've got it, Covid, just take some time off and get fully well. He added, I just think the people around her need to be a little bit more candid and say look she's taking a week off to recover from Covid.